Fat free normally means it's loaded with sugar. I can get a two pound bag of sugar in my hand now and I can put a label that says 100% fat free. The fact that once the sugar is ingested will turn into fat in the body because why? Because it sends the sugar levels sky high. And what does the pancreas do? It has to secrete insulin in order to bring that down so you don't die. Insulin is the fat producing hormone. So the two pound bag of sugar that I put 100% fat free, although factually correct, is unbelievably misleading. So all this excess energy comes along and says, where can we store it? Short term places, liver, but what do we do with the excess? I know what we'll do, we'll produce some fat cells, store them in there, use them later. Problem is, there's never a later. Fat is really good for you if it's the right kind of fat. And that's the key, it's getting the right kind of fat into your body. If you're on a low fat diet of some kind, you are constantly hungry. Why? Because you need the correct fats and proteins to feel satiated. And so therefore, if you negate that side of what the body is crying out for, you'll be constantly looking for it. We know that the cheap, low-grade fats, such as soybean oil and even canola oil and the corn oils, these are not healthy for you to consume in large quantities over the long term. The worst kinds of fats are the partially hydrogenated fats. These are the hydrogenated oils that are used in many baked items and crackers and cookies and margarine spreads, you know, the butter spreads. Oh. Those are some of the worst foods you could possibly eat. If you want healthy fats, then you got to get into the natural plant-based fats from avocados and chia seeds and flax seeds and even the healthy fat from salmon, wild-caught salmon. That's a healthy fat for you.